Michaels. Killer Mahali. All right. And half of you. No, it's Mecca. Call me the only general of Uluimboko. Na leo kiona nyelo tunakatu matanga. Brother, nile basi ya kuenda ushago. Apaila, ukutusa, umeva, umeva red. Black na ile kati ni ya kufundika sanduku. Alafu red na kazile kambasa. Mbule tunangalea matanga na ni celebration. Kuna shida. Niko na mento kapa ngara na nimetoka saizi. So guys, still, like I just told you, I wish you a very happy Valentine's to you and yours. Naka una msi usijali. Maybe, I told you, maybe we'll start a hookup show. Tuwane na niya tapata mtu, right? But that's for next time. That's for another day. But right about now, head over to our Twitter. That is at Y254 channel. At Feeling Jin. And on Facebook, at Feeling Jin. And at Y254 TV. So let's get to our stories. And our first story is an exciting one. Now, we all know Kenya has Kenya as a natural tourist destination now but we have more reason to be proud after scientists documented an extremely rare black leopard in Laikipia. The black leopard was spotted near Loisaba Conservancy in Laikipia by biologist Nick Pilford. This is the second black panther to be spotted in Laikipia after a similar discovery was recorded by the nation photojournalist Phoebe Okal in 2013 at Old Jogi Conservancy. According to the National Geographic, the black leopard captured by Mr. Pilford in 2018 has melanism, and the last such sighting was seen in 1909. So that is 100 years ago. That's when mm -hmm. we saw something like that. And we're talking about melanism, melanism is the opposite of, uh, how do you call this? Albinism. Mm. So if you're not, if you're, okay, albinism or albinism, it depends with your English teacher. <laughs> with your kindergarten, I'm a nursery. Uh, if you went to a group of schools, I'm only under. Yeah. Oh, high school. Oh, LM. Right, so guys, are we excited about this, Jesse? Yeah, it's 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 proof that vibranium is in Kenya. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes, Kenya is Wakanda. Is real. Wakanda. Mm, Kenya ndiyo Wakanda. <laughs> Tafadhali, all muzungus watching. Mm -hmm. I'm Wakanda. Huku ndiyo Wakanda. Hapa, hakuna matata. Hapa. Na ukajua vile nye muna tukanu na jitapu Wakanda. <laughs> Huku ni Wakanda. Vibrania miko hapa. Yes. Mm. Zanet, yeah. is that amazing? Yeah, it's or amazing. What? I think they should find venye wata zifanya zikue mingi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So zizalishwe. Zizalishwe kabisa. Umeona <laughs> mumesikia. <laughs> Kuna vitu vya kuna vitu mbili tofauti. Umeona mmesikia? Kwani nimeona watu wanapiga picha hapa kama hizo ni za hizo lako wame copy paste. Ati zinaweka di kwa raw. Mimi mpaka nione ndio nilio kuna Wakanda area. Mimi sitaka mtu za ku imagine. Au sitaki mtu za online social media. Kwa hivyo tupange road trip. Like but we were in like it just last year you at like keeping university show, you yeah you entertain me lakini atukwenda world life si nakwambia tungeenda kutembezwa tuone chunga unaweza fungwa nyororo ushangae hiyo bezi ya baridi si mchezo yeah but it's very cold yes. like it is very cold tutakao kwa na home hapo and then talk up you see babzi yeah yeah patikani hiyo leo bad so hata baka da sio kila mtu akora dake right guys tell us your views of like uh, what you think about that story right we mm -hmm. love to sample but that but it's real okay it's real uh, at it's white real. for channel it's real it's real hashtag white mm. for updates it's a matter we have mm -mm. we mm -mm. no no cc we you are a station no joy tv at the mangi uongo do you think we white for phone ukweli like you know me you know you're lazima pia mwambie you know you know you know video you know you video feel not to kudanganya wa kenya you know video ulio nikitembea yes kwa video kai yes Right, let's do this. Now we move on to our next story because me and half of you are talking about by the way. We'll spend 30 minutes Apana, arguing about that. Si ni rumors, <laughs> <laughs> sana. It's not rumors, it's confirmed, guys. Si but jayona. now, from what we understand as entertainment news, Men's Conference is a three-day-long imaginary yes. conference set to take place from the 14th, which, which is today actually, from the 14th of February 2019 to the 16th, and has been developed as a means to help boyfriends and husbands across Kenya to avoid doing something nice for those to claim for those they claim they love. Mm -hmm. 
Yote tisa ya kumi. On fire. Right, so this whole thing started as a joke. Alafu ikanza ku trend. So one chick, we call it the Malitu Chaksema. Okay, so guys, my boyfriend just told me there is a conference. He's going to be attending from 14th to 16th. Eh, what you know? Yes, it's true, by the way. Kwanza tayari na rudi mapema. We gine went to 10th to 20th. It's actually not true, it's just imaginary. But the wave it's created, it's just, it's, it's in, like social media is in a frenzy right now. Janet. Chele kwa meenda conference. Unajua mi nasema aje filin. Hapa ni cold watu tatumia. Haina shida wacha waende. Lakini June watakuja. Iyo ni mwezi ya kuzaa. June wataturudia tu. Aya pa. Iyo ni threat. But what I loved about this is that. You know women are also saying. At oh by the way. You know there's also women's conference. Ni vile mande mwako wanasema sana. Discussing your men. Sidiyo. No it's true. Yeah. Si wando wana decide. Ame kufanya nini? Ame kubaya nini? You know. <laughs> so what women were saying is that so unam call to no be any other oh conference in the lepo sour. So me pet con a conference, uko kwa kina kevo, kevo ya gender conference. Uko kina kevo na brayo. Uskevila na se ebu back ya po konza mini me have kuchkwa and again a rudi conference at I am that yeah gender conference. Nimekuwa conference ngara. Hiyo ni first class conference. Kuna ine nendelea kwanzia hiyo mwezi na kuja sasa. So I don't know home Next seat alikuwa hapo. <laughs> yes. Mlikuwa na yeye. Alikuwa hapo mlikuwa na yeye. Leo mkutano ni kwa. Sasa mtu uko single, bado umekuwa na challenge mgeni. Imaginary boyfriend. Single. Oh, in what? Uh, media wise. <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> yes. Wako ameenda conference. Um hapana. Um definitely no. Definitely. Mm, definitely. Mm. Like, uh, huh. Don't even try me. Mugu Don't try me. me. Yes. No, I'm not lying. I'm not the first speaker. <laughs> Z. Ata umjui to What's start that? with. What's Chali that? Chali Ha. Ata yana. Jua ta unafaya. Lakini, bela iyo kitu, afunu unajua iyo kitu ilianza kama joke na meifanya hii happen. It's so unfortunate. Yes. It's high time aki kenya. Appreciate. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
dea <laughs> mlolaje bionta me bia dea ngoma <laughs> um, he hits the media f- f- the wrong reasons right? to start with no but they say there's no Bottom bad publicity, publicity. Yeah, publicity i think it's good publicity. but publicity mm-hmm. but all in all um come on okay if beyonce really stole his song as he says okay mbona haiku hit ikiwa yake i tried to do now let's check out the video I'd actually say they sound the same, like totally the same. Uh, not a hundred percent, but kuna vile zinaendana. Like you cannot say for sure, like he's the one who came up with the song originally. He was ngoma mina kumukatuli mba tuk toka kitambo. Sasi juka mba ni idea li kujanao at first, but... You know, the new Jesus is a gap on that one, that's a lot of empia. Tusha chezo lakini ya iso rupa sta dea. Oh, ngoma Eh, manze. Enye it's a high time when you are going to carry on with the because if we do not end, simple. No, but it's not even funny what Hafi is saying. Yeah. Brazil mm-hmm. national anthem. Then Hakuna Matata, by the way, it's now owned by Disney. And then apparently, ap- yeah, apparently mm, yeah, Disney. owned by <laughs> Disney. A- Twahili so, slang. Yes. Oh, mm-hmm. slang. Yeah, yeah true. Uh, saying it's actually mm-hmm. owned by Disney. Alafu. We also had uh, the Kiondos. Yeah. The Kiondos now was Ngu Mash. Mata Shuka. Nizao. Nizao sai. Wa mean one zina zina zina, zina tole wa China. Yeah. Ni wapate mchuko entertainment taste. Ndakuja huko mali muko. Tuwapate. Ni stack zaza. Nyinyi. Mmetuchosha. So, nyinyi wote mnarudia dea. Acha tumsapoti. Ali team dea ama ali team. Mimi kwanza hiyo video nimeiona nafanana tu na wakanda siko ubaya. <laughs> Utafiti utashikwa. <laughs> Alafu Beyonce alimuibia hiyo hiyo ngoma akifanya nini? Walikuwa wanafanya nini akimuibia? Alikamba alienda alienda akashia na yeye. Even guys know when you're not playing Kenya music. Yeah. Just clear up and don't play Kenya, Kenya, Kenya music. Wewe. But why do people play Kenya Wewe. music though? Why do people play Kenya music? Right? Asubuhi jioni unacheza Kenyan music. <laughs> De, ya day ilikuwa wapi? Maybe kwa kwa list. Playlist. Eh. Hiyo demo ni tupaipa imekuja. Ah ilikuwa ilikuwa ba sasa ni kama hakuleta huko. Huyo kwanza hata hezi chezo juu yenyewe alituibia watoto wengi sana. Atacheza waje Kenya. Hapana lakini sioto alikuwa sema toi um toto sasa celebrity eh eh ni miracle celebrity ni miracle unaombea alafu unapata mtu huyo there me pastor there ndakusaidia there you there me there there you ndakuokorea hapo all right let's head over to hollywood right now when caribbean's win was first announced bet decided it would be a good idea to mention that nikki lost with a pretty rude since deleted tweet they wrote meanwhile and a quote actually meanwhile nikki minaj is being dragged by her less friend and of course which was crazy considering that nikki and her young money partner lil wayne were set to perform at the bet experience concerts in june this got nikki so upset she got she started retweeting followers saying and a quote get your refunds as up and of course and went ahead to drop out of the scheduled BET experience alongside Lil Wayne Right so this is what's happening so our Grammys were just held the other day Cardi B akashinda rap album of the year So when this happened BET wakaanza kutweet wakasema Kadi amewina before Nikki which everybody was talking about but then the way they put it well it's a let me just read that again they were like meanwhile Nikki Minaj is being dragged by her less friend we know less friend me here we right so she's being dragged by her less friend which was very demeaning to Nikki Minaj so she got upset i love her fans the babs i'm told nowadays they're called the kingdom wakaenda kwa BT they attack them some of the fans which I actually think is for me if you ask me i think um it is correct because uh first of all BT means black entertainment television nikki is black cardi b is latina so you cannot be putting a black woman down raising the latina woman you understand yes. and you are supposed to be in support of that so they came out to apologize but nikki alikuwa performer akasema like she's done with bt she's not going to be performing for them alafu pia the whole of young money pulled out was it justified janet 
Yeah, I feel I feel it was justified because I couldn't even hear when I'm demeaning you too. That is so unfair. I <laughs> like. I did, I'm Tim Nicky. Tim Nicky. Yeah, okay, tamam, I tamam, saw tamam. very many memes about that, but I didn't want to comment at all. What? We couldn't win Grammys, Nicky, and I felt bad. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right. So Drake went on. By the way, I learned that Kwa Wadi. Drake won a uh, God's plan. So I can't talk to you. I can't talk to you. I can't talk to you. These Grammys don't mean anything. I can't talk to you. I can't talk to you. Because you're spraying shit. That's because I'm in the air. So according to people, they told Cardi B she didn't deserve to win the Grammys. Because first of all, I'm a kuja and I'm a poor to your clout. Because every, everybody is like, uh, Cardi B is the new artist. True. So do you think of you? I'm a poor to your clout. I'm a poor to your clout. Uh, miss, yes, you get a yoko sababu. I'm not good with the Nikki and stuff. <laughs> but me as I say, ma, black. Both are to the Nikki and stuff. Nikki and stuff. I don't care. Me as I say, ma, tuki tu moja inyewe. Black is beauty. Na inyewe, kama inyewe mnangalia uzungu sana, boss, inyewe, toko sana. Right. Eh, yo, yo, yo by then ni kama u adopt mtu hii alafu anakuja anakalia watu wako hata utafeel aje. Uh, you won't feel good. Like <laughs> by the way, she got to leave that to Kana. Kadi so much she had to delete her Instagram. It's But I delete yeah. just for a day alafu amerudi tena. Just after watu muongelea. Jali ona sawa watu anaongea juu ya Nikki aka delete ndo attention ni rudi kwake. Alafu sasa amerudisha. Lakini yenyewe ni kuni kama unatusitumu Africa dai. Yeah, it's bad. Um BT is for black. Yeah. Yeah. Watch it black. Yeah. Me, uh, me she go and start Loose. an LET yeah. mm, for <laughs> Latinos. Kindly. <laughs> Baby girl. Latino TV mm. entertainment. Uh, watch out oh, is best but next year. she's the Annabelle doll. Do you remember those dolls that were Barbie and Annabelle? Yeah. Yeah. She's an Annabelle. Mm. So I'm thinking and afar to with her Annabelle supporters. Yeah. They should go and start an LET. Mm. Yeah. Okay. What watch here? The Lala Bells. Black family. Okay. We are here standing tall Lala for Lala Bells and Lala Bells. Mm. <laughs> and as tough. <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> Stick to your lane. Whether we're done with that, let's get back home. Now, gospel artist David Wanda has left EMB Records a few weeks after Mr. Seed quit. Now, it said, according to David Wanda, Bahati gave him a choice and he opted to leave EMB in bid to build his brand. Since leaving EMB, the singer has deleted all the photos on his Instagram account and rebranded, changing his social media name from David Wanda EMB to David Wanda KE. Hey. Hey. All right. So, Mazi, gospel artist. I know, right? Like mm-hmm. every other week we have to Turn talk up. about gospel artists. So, We all understand what happened. Like um so Hopkid Alitoka EMB tumona nani mwingine like we've seen artists living MB but they are here uh, Mr. Seed rather not Hopkid I mean Mr. Seed. Mr. Seed actually left EMB Records. Alafu pia tumona ndio David Wanda anatoka and what they are saying is that they're blaming Bahati's wife because uh, you remember allegedly when they had an event mm-hmm. wife wa Bahati alitia bibi ya Mr. Seed Makarao right wow yes so in an electric and fold it's a big drama imekuwa imebeba ngine na 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 so we don't even know who who is who who is telling the truth i think for this year ha gospel artist mpige magoti muombe muombe masitani zote zile zimewakumba <laughs> Ziweze kuondoka kwa sababu soon utasikia Saizeta ameruka ameenda Danson. Kwa sababu ni kwa expect za kitoka hizi. Saizeta sana ni kwa Saizeta Ribol. Let's rule the nyuma. Chunga. Yeah. So apparently it say that uh, at Bahati alipi mnena mna perform alafu anakula doe. Wanakula doe. Sasa sikia. Yaani ni kujenga matis. Yeah. I think yenyewe si kwa baya yenyewe feeling. It's a high time ama gospel artist kuliko kwanza kutupatizi ma classes za SG at yo mm-hmm. ukwe mtu mzuri mm-hmm. I think this same kuja na idea mzuri ya kusema tukua tu wabaya cuz wenye ndio wabaya but, zaidi All wabaya kutulika yeah. but, but I think mm-hmm. uh, okay I'm not don't take it, I I'm not taking I don't have any personal feelings speak for it. anyone My friend speak it. And that is Bahati's wife yeah. Sina personal feelings with her because that are to join on personal level but ever since she came Nibishita into Bahati's Instagram. life mm. Why mbona hizi vitu zote zina happen 
zinafuata. Siko sababu alifungua station mpya. Yeah. But it's question. true even wisdom said that. Wisdom alisema yeah. he likes Bahati. Bahati they've been together for long. But sasa ni bibi ya Bahati na mefanya atoke. Afterwards mm. Bahati hakuwa kwa scandals mnajui hivyo. Yeah. Like ah. for a long time just ah. before mtoto huyu mtoto <laughs> aliapia afuli alikuwa na scandal al, afuli alikuwa ah. na gani isipokuwa ya mtoto isipokuwa ya baby mweni hii kamera ni mulika stacky hii ni mbaya si ndio tutaongea hiyo cha hapo nje kwa chemba ai sawa yeah me i think i saw this coming and i nikashikwa na kadhi nilikuwa nilikuwa na the queen box david wana kumuliza whatsapp kwani but then i i yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's, a, he's a friend actually mm. but kama ameamua ku move on it's for the better cuz mm. if if he feels kwenye yako mm. he he can he or she can't brand him or herself yeah. watch us on gembele at least yeah. maybe yeah True. but for me all i can say is this if you're going to take an artist in unasema utamsaidia please make sure you help him si tumtoe afike mali si yetu hata hizi and then you Eh yeah, but they are like Lakini, just pay yeah. them what they deserve cuz David Wanda Goma zenye ametoa and IMB they've been hit. Yeah. Right? Like in the baya. Unajua kuna watu wengine unaweza msaidia lakini only usaidizi kikuja. Hapana lakini sisi artist moja mbona artist wote wanatoka huko? It's not one person. Like there's all everybody is living. And another thing they are all here wakisema vile at presenters you don't play your music play Kenya music. If we're going to do our part then let producers also do their part. I think no what I mean is same. It's a high time kama tuasemwa tucheze Kenyan music yeah. lakini pia wasanii pia kuna vile tabia mbofu I think ndendelea kucheza zaidi <laughs> tabia mbofu cuz hey, anyway kama gospel artist wanaibia wanaibiana wenyewe kwa wenyewe <laughs> mimi ndendelea kucheza za kina nani huko nje za South Africa cuz hizo ndio ndacheza hawana hizo tabia yes eh? <laughs> Yeah, scandal zone wa country yao. Wacha nikwambie, scandal hiyo yeah. kwa nyumba. Hiyo mombe ni mzuri yeah, sana. Yao. <laughs> yao. <Yeah, laughs> <Yeah, laughs> <yeah, laughs> oh. The rest. Guys, all right. Eh. Yeah. Mombe mzuri ya nyumba. Lakini <laughs> yakuja Kenya, adharani mpaka kanisani. <laughs> Atenda kuombea upate mtoto. Right. Mombe gani? Yeah. Let's move on. We're still local. We're still local. And we're still talking about um artists, not yes. about artists this time. We're talking about Kashi. And Kaligraph. Now, apparently, rapper Kashi Karimi is continuing to throw shade at her ex-boyfriend Kaligraph Jones. Kashi now says Kaligraph started uploading photos of him making out with different women just because he is bitter. We've learned that Kaligraph Jones' girlfriend is pregnant and Kashi claims he he's getting panic babies in 2019 just because she had a baby. She added that she has moved on and Kaligraph should move on too. This comes after Jones said he had no idea idea who she was despite having a song together Right so we all remember Mikasa Sukasa mm. Mika yeah that was a mm. big tune your song mm. in limba for Papa like John. days mm. for months for Jones the old they died he they father come, come on my bad team the baby died anasema he has no idea who Kashi is like I've never met her who is she what, what is she talking oh about yeah so, so zile nipe right, oh, so they are here they have we have a photo and Kashi yeah. and this is Caligraphy Kashi says okay so she had a baby and anasema Caligraphy is just upset because all, all this time they were together akwa hi post picture controversial sana shina ki post pictures kwa instagram akiwa naked siju na madimu akiwa naked or something so anafanya tu hivyo ku get attention yake but she is not interested she has moved on so pia move on but kali's girlfriend is pregnant the current girlfriend is pregnant so dem anasema she's only she's only pregnant because kali is getting panic babies 
Are we agreeing? So yes, that's a wow. panic baby. Wow. We let you get me to eat. That's the newest thing I've had. <laughs> wow. <laughs> panic <laughs> babies. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> Wa Kenya. Hmm. I have only one word to say. He's a drama kituzi ishe. So Kashi aliondoka juu ya yes. Calligraph ni kama mfuko ina ina toboka ina toboka. And by the way, she has a new song. Kashi yeah. released. Unajua she mm. took a very long break, mm -hmm. but right now she has a new song and she's talking about these stories we're talking about. So if you're not here out everything she has to say about Calligraph, when do we want to go market? Where? Right. Watch out, chat to skim. The way they were they they, they were looking good How together. Hey. Mm. Sijali <laughs> 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 Kenyan women are smart, at least when it comes to like <laughs> business wise, yeah. they're investing. But yeah. Kenya, they are really educated. Nani and they working. Yes. Like, yes. You know, pesa pesa no yes. 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 Karoti maragwe sijazoea itaongelewa hapa tu Now apana usitake tena she is a very old usimtake vibaya that wedding is going through can i get an amen amen yes the ladies men no no so i get a lottery winner no, not kenyan actually this is jamaican and you should come here today we are sampling everywhere now a lottery winner claimed a prize worth 1.1 million dollars while wearing a mask that looks like the ghost face character from the 1996 horror film scream according to the jamaican gambling company now it is said the lottery winner referred to us as campbell he said he wore the mask because of the insecurities in his area mm. right so this guy won 120 okay 158 million right 158 million 158 million jackpot Let's go and say, Where? Mimi, you will show me mask. You know, I'm trying to hang up on the camera, go gazetti. I can say, my hair is it? Ati mtana toka, nikiva, nikienda hivi. Mi si si kokeisha. So he just had to wear a mask. Alafu kwenye alikuwa na sign deal zote kama ba mask. So when I pay one, I'm going to have an interview zote. But he said he's not gonna show his face just because he's afraid. Would you do something like that? I'm going to wear a mask and do what I could do. I'm just afraid when I can't see my mother do what I'm doing. Leo mtani tambua. Nili kuwa maskin mkani check. Nimepata. Lakini waza ni kuambie, mi kwaza na shuku mtu wa mefungai mask. Kwa sabi kitu ya kwaza kuna bombe lifanyika hapa nini? Odion. Odion. Na unatafuta sura huyo mtu. Sija sema ni yeye. Lakini, unalingu. Unalingu. Kuna vile. Link yangu kuna vile na link. Hivyo. Unawo mzame, alitoka tu Jamaica kwa kuja Kenya. Ati kukutatalo. Sija sema kitu. Lakini na shuku. Senet, are you doing that? Do you even play lottery? Eh, nimejaribu hadi nikaamua tu hapana. Hapana, <laughs> yeye na wenyewe. Wewe ka But for safety reasons, yeah. I think maybe he was right. Yeah. But kama if the name 
that appears there you know it am identified then i don't see the reason no but if you call janet mm-hmm. janet siniwengi yeah see janet siniwengi at least someone cannot identify you as a this is the janet i'm talking about what are you going to mwizi ni mwizi <laughs> utatoka na hiyo check hapo nje kuna mtu asa ku notice hata mwenye bibi alikupatia ndo atakuja kunyemerea anakuja kujua wewe hey. nani yeah you never Jesse, know by the way are you pulling such a stand kama wewe unaenda tu kwa mimi na va- mimi wacha nikwambie hata jina ile hashtag mm. kitaeleweka mm, eh. kitaeleweka mimi hata pale ni initials zinaweza wekwa <laughs> j m m hamwezi jua ni nani mimi alafu juu sasa anavangwa za kiboy unajua mtu suspect ni dem na ni lava sasa zile ma block hills naingia dina bounce nikitoka hapo hata ni mama yangu tu naweza ambia ndio maana mpatangi unaweza ni checks na zinachezea hata watu kama hata ipata checks shinda hapo brother shinda because of time we move on to our next story now a man in Kabonyo irrigation scheme village in Nyando Kisumu county on Wednesday escaped death narrowly after a nearet mob stormed his house the angry villagers were accusing the elderly man of keeping a possessed cat that beat to death a calf belonging to one of the locals accusing the 60 year old of practicing witchcraft That, but this is one of the photos yeah in some policy of but actually <laughs> <laughs> so no this is a cut but so this cut ili wa ngombe na niliwaambia ile kitiko like ipia ndio hii sasa inakuja masaa ya usiku nyimu na fraya kisumu ili kisumu this just a normal cut maybe ilipitia huko ji ni kusiria sana like ipia maybe iko kisumu lakini yeye ni sikudanganye kitu na ina, ina life saba mm-hmm. siwezi shanga eh yeah, so nasema hii ni paka imeua na sana si si ngombe yao ngombe ya jirani so majirani wakakuja wakasema hii paka si ya kawaida wala well, ni mchawi so they came okay, okay it's not funny because they actually came and attacked that man and his daughter waka they injured them hadi waka have pele kwa husi like it ni funny hapana mimi hata sisi ni funny mtu hajui fury ya paka Yeah. In real sense a cat is one of the most furious Seven. animals. Unatoa ukakuwa umepiga paka mfungio kwa nyumba moja itakuua za hima mbingu. Itakuua. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Acha kunia. Sasa moja tu kunia weka paka nyonga tu. Itatoka. Itatoka na msa itakupata. Okay, but when you are gonna uko na experience. Mimi paka kwa nyumba nane. Una sign za kuza eh. Na mwisho sikuza ju tarudi. Mwisho mwezi nina paka zinne zinazaa. Fulua anafanya biashara ya kuuza paka. Mwisho mwezi paka na ina left saba. Mhm. Alafu na bishana ngombe na maybe ngombe hata ilikuwa ni calf. Eh si ni calf ilikuwa ngombe ndogo. Nimekwambia aje siyo shanga. But I don't think they they, they were no, which yeah, yeah, I don't not... think that is witchcraft actually yeah. because cats at a zoo ma mbaka nyoka so most probably it, yeah. it had poison in it Wewe wewe paka zinanga somo paka kutiko nao nika nika thithi asira ni kale kale kathithi kanaruka kwa kiti kanatoka kwa kitanda watu wa kisumu si witchcraft guy lakini ona kisumu na kakamega Sisi shanga. Hi <laughs> <laughs> guys, it's so much fun. Kuna unajua kwa ni uchawi ni mingi so sisi shanga. Naweza kwa ni mtu. Unfortunately, Hora. we have to wrap this up. But you have 30 seconds. Would you want to tell guys who do you want to shout out? I'll have to remind the viewers your social media handles. We get out of here. It's Valentine. Valentine. Eh, uh, happy Valentine. Happy Valentine to everyone who is watching Y254 TV. And uh, coming next week Surprise ta kwa mingi sana kwa za fuluimboko hata kwa Instagram, Twitter, Facebook a fuluimboko sija change bado niko tu pale. All right. Yes. Ha, heterage. Tu- Leo nikutuma masalam. What does heterage stand for? Human Her Royal Rights <laughs> Technology. Her no. Royal Highness. Her Royal yeah. Highness. Yeah. Right. What do you want to tell Kenyan? Yeah, so I want to wish my mom and my sister happy Valentines. Yeah and then what we are juja pia happy valentines kwenu Ni njua mali nalipaite Akuyu Nampatia mawaidha Janet yeah. Janet now Yeah <laughs> uh, um 
HRH Janet Michaels on every social media platform. Yeah. All See right. you next week. <laughs> Great having you on set. And uh, Jesse. Yeah, first of all, happy birthday to me. Oh, Today is my birthday. birthday. Wow. Yes. Wow. Why didn't you say anything? Quite serious. It's my birthday. Hey, let them add, hi. Zee, no, slap na no, mawa. no, please don't. It's <laughs> Jesse Mogore across all social media. Yes, magic. we have water. <laughs> no, yes. I have it. <laughs> we have water. No, we have water. Thank right. you. Janet, please, yeah, uh, uh, we have okay, to do her yes, justice. Now, yes. um, I'm Jesse <laughs> Mogore across all social media platforms. And uh, special shuttles, shuttles to my mom. She's watching. So, oh, I wish I had Jesse's yeah. mom. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. Mm, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yeah, now, um, keep tuned in. Mm -hmm. And thank you for always tuning in. <laughs> awesome. And I want to big up Team Chini Yamaji. All those guys watching at home, you never comment, you don't tweet, you don't say anything, but you're always watching. When you're I loyal of uh, White Chief for <laughs> Channel. We appreciate you. And <laughs> shout out to you for watching. And also, happy Valentine's to you and yours. So go have fun, but keep it White Chief for yes, because we have Unfinished coming up with uh, Karin Jisa and Mike Gitahi. And a quick reminder as well, we have um, a competition. The, that is tomorrow. No, that is on uh, Saturday, right? Mash Auto. So if you know you are a dancer, yeah? Make sure you submit your videos. Tomorrow is the deadline, right? Yes, yes tomorrow is the deadline. So make sure you submit your videos for that. We have uh, up to 60K. Well, we have 30K. Let me say. Okay, so. 30,000 for the first winner. <laughs> 20,000 for the second winner. Uh -huh. 10,000 for the third winner. Yes. Yeah, and the good thing is that at Ubagui, so you can come as one person or you can come as a group, mm -hmm. right? All right, and also the same Saturday we'll have rock tour right here. So if you love rock music, catch me right here on Saturday from five all the way to seven p.m. But it's been fun hanging out with you. We we'll see you again next week. But oh, before you go, I wish shout out to everybody, the crew. I can see Lawrence, Faith, right here in studio. The and big Bibi, bitch, Bibi, yeah. Bibi in studio as well. Big I have Papa the director, <laughs> Manu, Manu. <laughs> <laughs> we direct a big shout out to Liz, yeah. we have uh, Yvonne, yeah. Patricia, and uh, Hanson as well. A big shout out to Brio for making this possible. He's our editor. A big shout out to Brio as well. A big shout out to everybody who made this possible. Happy Valentine's, guys. Yes. We'll see you again next week. Bye. We love, we love you. you. Patricia, you like more than I Yes. Oh, right. Sound, nice. sound engineer. You're all right. <laughs> buju, buju. <laughs> 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 <laughs>